Welcome to Sienna ND, the next dimension in live video production. Brought to you by Sienna, the global leader in IP video migration. Hello, welcome to this Sienna ND demonstration. I'm down in the machine room today because I'd like to introduce you to the Sienna ND router. Here we can see the Sienna ND router operating with emulation of a Probel SWP08 router and also emulation of a Blackmagic design router. It's also acting as a TSL UMD tally system which is being received inside an Axon Cerebrum. We also have a web interface and a TriCaster where we can see what's happening. In the TriCaster, we've assigned the four inputs to the four outputs of our NDI router, which are Edit Suite 1 through Edit Suite 4. They exist in the router as the destinations, Edit Suite 1 to Edit Suite 4. They're also mapped to where they're going to appear in the switcher, which will allow us to map the tallies. We've then got our four sources, which in this case are four different patterns on four signal generators, and we can see We've currently got 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 4 to 4. So we've got input 1 through input 4 mapped to output 1 through output 4. So now we can start routing them. First, I'm using the Blackmagic emulation through the Video Hub iPad application. I click on Cycle for the first channel. I'm now controlling channel 1. I go back to the clock to the bounce, to the pan, so I'm literally punching on the iPad. Or I could be doing the same thing on a Blackmagic hardware panel. Simultaneously, we can go to the Axon and we can use the Probel SWP08 emulation to do the same thing. I'm going to make the route using the Axon, so we change it to cycle, to bounce, to pan, and you'll see that as we do this, the Blackmagic panel's also updating. So everything is updating everything else, as well as making the route. We've also got the option of doing it directly from a web interface. So again, I can do that from here. And this is also an HTTP REST interface, should you need to operate it from anything else. Another task the router is doing is reading tallies from the TriCaster and feeding them back using the TSL UMD protocol. So, if we go to the Tally Receive page inside the Axon, we'll see that as we make cross-point changes in the TriCaster, the tally information in the Axon is changing. The tallies can be used to drive traditional camera tallies or any other kind of systems, and you'll see that it's also passed the names of each channel, which will be fed to multi-viewers and under-monitor display, etc. The final thing to notice is that the names inside the TriCaster are also changing as we route. So instead of saying Edit Suite 1, it's actually got the true name of the source. And if I make a change on the source, you'll see that the name of the channel and the name on the buttons in the cross points are changing. And that'll apply to any kind of peripherals that are displaying names whilst controlling the TriCaster. So, just to review. We've got an everything controls everything mechanism where we have an NDI routing system which is taking any number of NDI sources to any number of NDI virtual destinations. In this case, we've got the virtual destinations mapped to input channels of the TriCaster so that externally we can control what's fed to each channel on the TriCaster. We can make routes using SWP08 protocol from Probel control systems or we can use any Blackmagic design control system such as the iPad app, the desktop application or the Blackmagic design smart control hardware panels. And again, everything is updating everything else. We have a web-based control interface and the tallies are being read from the TriCaster fed via TSL UMD into the Axon Cerebrum or other systems that support TSL UMD. And finally, as we make our routes, we're updating the user interface in the TriCaster so that we've got full situational awareness of what's being routed to what. 